we're going to be looking at a, a simple uh, method to calculate customer acquisition costs or CAC in Salesforce. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. You know, typically you might pull data out of Salesforce uh, uh, into another business uh, intelligence tool, merge it with some other data from your ERP system and try to get customer acquisition costs. Uh, this solution is just a simple solution. It's probably going to be best utilized by companies that have you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 million in revenue. Maybe you don't have uh, a business intelligence app or, you know, all of this like re reporting infrastructure, whether that be people or tools at your organization. Um, so what we've done is we just built a custom object here. And if you click into the custom object, uh, I go to all, I can see that I have customer acquisition cost records. So pretty much what this is, is just a calculation for customer acquisition costs per month. Uh, and I have some flows that go off of this. So we're gonna test out uh, May as an example. Here I can see June, July, August. Uh, I'm capturing the year, the cost, sales cost, or marketing cost, sales cost, total cost, total one ops, and then it uh, translates into customer acquisition cost. Uh, so in here I'm going to say, uh, we want to do May 2020, so we're going to say May 1st. You can see here that I said, please enter the first day of the month, quarter, or year. Uh, I'm going to leave total one ops blank. Cost of sales, I'll say 15000 Marketing costs, I'll say five. If I save this, I can see that uh, it pulled total one ops of eight. So what we're doing is we're taking the month and the year based off of the CAC date uh, and we are have a flow that runs in the background that is going to match the close date from an opportunity with May and the year. We're also going to be looking for net new customers, not necessarily uh, all close one opportunities. So keep in mind there could be some caveats on you know, depending on how your organization uses Salesforce. Um, but really, we just built a simple widget um, that has cost of sales, marketing costs, uh, and then uh, a couple flows that do some calculations. And you can see here, our CAC is $2,500 for this month. Um, so what you're able to do with just a report like this, is kind of build out a dashboard component that looks like this. Uh, so we have customer acquisition costs here on the uh, x-axis um, where you can see the total amounts. Uh, and then we also have a line plotted uh, where we can see the total amount of opportunities won per month. Um, so pretty much the, the idea behind this simple workflow is you can easily uh, look at, you know, QuickBooks or Zero or whatever you're using from an ERP standpoint, pull out your cost of sales and commissions for uh, a month after you've reconciled, um, pull out your marketing costs after the month has been completed, plug it into this little calculator, uh, and then you can look at your CAC month over month. Um, we're going to be listing out some uh, content in the description of this video as well that you can go to. Um, to just look at the formula that we're using, how we're calculating these things. Uh, and we'll also have some other videos showing how we calculate LTV um, and some other examples like that.